This is Abisko, really far up in Sweden. And it's really cold, it's windy, and the Wi-Fi is spotty, and it's uh, really inconvenient in so many ways. Why am I here? Well, I'm chasing the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights, Aurora Borealis. It's caused by, uh, well, what is it? Disturbances in the magnetosphere, interfering with the solar winds, causing charged particles to uh, ionize and uh, cause a <laughs> lighting effect. Ah, crap, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, it's a really interesting physical phenomenon. Ah, oh, bloody hell, it's really windy. Anyway, Aurora Borealis, that's uh, two parts to the name. Aurora, it comes from the Roman goddess of the dawn. So it's uh, not just dawn, but also the lights you can see on a dark sky. And Borealis comes from the Greek word for the northern wind. Thus Aurora Borealis, a really poetic way to describe the northern lights. But it's too cold, let's jump in the car, I'm gonna tell you more on the way. There are basically four different types of uh, northern lights. So there's a glow you can see towards the horizon. There's uh, patches that look like clouds. And then there are rays and arcs of various kinds. And if you're really, really lucky during a geomagnetic storm, you can see magnificent northern lights. Well, do you think we're going to be lucky today? The northern lights come in different colors. So there's a red, that's the highest altitude, then there's green, and then there's blue, and ultraviolet, and infrared. Yeah, I think those are it. You can also see yellow and purple, but those are just mixes of other colors. Now, why am I up here? Why am I chasing the northern lights? Well, I just fancy a little bit of magic in my life. And what's more magical than uh, the Northern Lights. Nothing, right? <laughs> That's gotta be the answer. This is the most magical thing you can find. Another question is why am I up here exactly in Abisko for the Northern Lights? Well, Abisko has some special characteristics. It's uh, less cloudy and it's still very far north, way above the Arctic Circle. Basically, it's uh, one of the world's best places for spotting in Northern Lights. This is the Abisko tourist station. I was actually gonna stay here originally, and I also had booked a night at the Aurora Sky Station, an observatory where you can get a warm and pleasant view of the Aurora Borealis. Well, that was closed down. On really cold and clear nights, you can hear the northern lights popping and crackling. So, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna hear that today. It's not a clear night and it's really windy. I can't hear anything but the wind. Northern lights aren't fully explained by science yet. We know a lot, of course, of course. We know the solar winds, the particles, the ionization, the uh, magnetic fields and all of that jazz. But for example, that popping noise, it's not fully explained. There's some magic left in the world, something that's not yet understood. That really appeals to me. To see the Northern Lights, you have to be really attuned to the, the darkness, so you can't be near any light sources. So I'm gonna have to go far out into the darkness. I'm gonna have to wait for like 10 minutes for my eyes to adjust. And then, uh, then I'm gonna raise my camera to the sky. So I'm gonna raise the ISO sensitivity to let in more light. And then we'll see if we get lucky. Is there some magic waiting for us? This is the night sky at Abisko, the best place in the world to spot northern lights. Can you see it? Can you see it shimmer softly? Because I bloody can't. It's just bloody darkness. I'm not gonna be able to see any northern lights. Let's just face it, it's not the right conditions. So uh, I've traveled 14, 1500 kilometers for nothing. No, not really. I mean, I still feel like there is some magic in this trip. I'm exploring, I'm learning things, I'm learning about myself and Sweden. So there's magic to be found, even if it's not in the sky. 
that sounds a bit pretentious, doesn't it? But still, I'm really happy I made this trip. So all that's left now is uh, for me to go to my hotel and for you to like and subscribe. <laughs> but most importantly, have a great day.